Here are the seven vital steps you will need to follow in order to get the most out of Twitter for your business over the web. Step number one, research your market. Know who you want to target. Step number two, create your page. Approach your business. Step number three, perfect your profile. Be professional. Step number four, tweeting. Getting the word out. Step number five, Twitter marketing tools. Use them properly. Step number six, getting followers the fastest and safest way. Step number seven, mimic the masters. Create your success story. Step number one, research your market. Know who you want to target. The first thing you need to do is clarify what your business is all about, what your brand is, and what your purpose is in the marketing world. The following questions will help you to clarify and understand just what your marketing vision is. What kind of people are you trying to reach? I'm sure you already know the type of people that your services are directed to. You see them constantly. They contact you as well if necessary. That will tell you what kind of person they are and how you can treat them. What do they look like? Are they fat or skinny, male or female, old, young, or middle-aged? What are they looking for? What is the final goal they are after, based on the service you provide? What feeling are they trying to achieve with it? Do they need it to feel happy? Do they need it to survive? A lot of needs must be met just for our basic survival. What do you actually do for them? Maybe you are already offering a service for that audience. That will give you a great idea of what exactly you need to inform any new people who fit into that same audience. What kind of information would they be interested to know about and pay for? You already know the needs of your customers. You know exactly what kind of information will be highly helpful to them in order to help them satisfy those needs. Why don't you just create a great info product about it? How much money are they actually paying you for it? Knowing how much you usually charge them for your service is a very important indicator because if you decide to create a product like a report, video training, software, or something directly related to your audience, you will be able to easily figure out the price tag you can stamp on it. How would they like to reach that content? Is it video, audio, written, or blogging? This is important to know. Just think about it a little. Think on their limitations to read, hear, watch, or use the computer. If they have no limitations with those, you can just ask them how they would like to know about stuff. Do they like to read? Do they like to watch videos? Do they like to listen to audio? Do they like social networks? Where are they from? Maybe you have an audience that comes from other cities or even countries. That will happen a lot on Twitter. You need to target everyone and adapt your information to all of them at the same time. What are your competitors offering to your audience? In the marketing world, it is very important to study the competition that targets your exact audience. What do they generally offer? What things do they offer that you don't? Do they have more clients? Do they work additional hours? Do they cover a lot more needs than you? Can you offer a better service or product than your competitors? Once you know everything about your successful competitors, you can just offer the same thing, but with your personal touch plus a lot more great things that they are not offering. You can have special offers, free samples, free call consultations, special discounts, etc. These questions are very important in deciding how to establish your business over Twitter. You can position almost any kind of business over Twitter because Twitter is more than just a website or a service. It is a social platform composed of a large audience of people with real human needs who are waiting for you and your service to satisfy them.